Hey folks, I'm Bill Langer. You're watching Traditional Adventures TV, and I'm going to make you some gourmet moose hamburgers. Hope you enjoy. Up a little onion here. I like my onions kind of chunky and thick. We got a pepper here. Cut up some peppers. Make these just a little bit smaller. So what I got here is pretty simple. We got onions and peppers that are diced up. Got cheese here. Shredded cheese, usually shred my own, but didn't today. I'm gonna grab a little salt and pepper. Get some garlic down here. Got a little bit of garlic left. All we're gonna do, got a pound of moose burger here. I'm gonna put all these ingredients in it. Mix these in. This. Cheddar cheese in it. On your cheddar. I'm gonna mix this in just a little bit here. Mix it in by hand. All right, now we're gonna add a little garlic. Get the garlic on this side. Some garlic in there. A little salt. A little pepper. Just gonna grind this all in, mix it in good, try to get the cheese and the onions to, and the peppers and the seasoning to flow throughout it. Just mix it in, get it all mixed together as best that you can. And then, my family likes just a regular hamburg, so I'm just gonna make a few for myself today, a couple for tonight. So you make a ball like this. And you can do this with anything. You can do it with beef, pork, turkey, chicken, tofu, although I have no idea why you would do it with tofu, but anyways, teach their own. But anyways, there you go. You got a gourmet burger here. I'll make four of them. I'll have two today and two tomorrow. Make a nice dinner. Look at that. You got everything in there. You got the cheese, you got the onions, you got the peppers, you got the seasoning. Put these on the grill. Little, um, put a little uh, spinach on the side. Delicious. I love the outdoor lifestyle. This is organic moose meat that my wife took this year, or last year actually, September, October of 2020. Um, just delicious organic meat. Nothing like it. Look at that. So now I'm going to get the grill going, uh, get that fired up, and uh, once it's warmed up, we'll get these burgers on the grill. Alright, I'm going to check on the spinach. The spinach is cooked and frozen, we're just we're steaming it down here. Just got to steam it a little bit here. It's starting to break up, so a little frozen, but we'll let that, we'll let that simmer. Came to a boil, I'll just turn it down a little bit. And now I'm gonna go out, get the grill going, we'll get the burgers going. Alright, let's go get the grill going. Our striker kicked the bucket a long time ago, so I gotta light it with a lighter here. It's cold and miserable. We got an ice storm coming in. There's actually a storm across half the United States right now. Got the grill going, we'll let that uh, warm up and we'll get the burgers on it. All right, spinach is just about done. Let's go over here and grab the burgers. Beautiful gourmet moose burgers that we made. Let's go ahead, Gary, let you go first. All right, we got the grill up to temperature. I'm just gonna throw two of these on large one and a medium-sized one will be enough. The rest of my family always eats late. 
I'm trying to stay relatively well in shape, so I try to eat earlier in the day. <laughs> so I'll make them burgers later. But as soon as those are done, we'll get them off and have them with the spinach. It should be delicious. Well, the spinach is done. I'm just going to pile it up. The poor man's way is uh, getting the water out. I just pile it up in one corner at an angle on the edge of the stove. I'll just let that drain a little bit. When the burgers are done, I'll take it out, add salt and pepper, and uh, a little vinegar, and we'll be ready to go. All right, let's check on those burgers. Get that out. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Look at that. A nice little char on it. Everything's holding together well. And oh man, those are gonna be good. Looking forward to it. A few more minutes. All right, let's go grab those burgers. Oh yeah, Garrett, get a close up of that. Look at that. That looks delicious right there. Grab these burgers. Head inside and get some spinach. Grab some of the spinach out of here. I'll just keep it warm with that paper towel. Get that on here. Come on over. Salt and pepper. Some vinegar on it. Love vinegar. Goes great on spinach. Go. Now, what was that fork? Grab the fork here. Put a little, put a little mustard. A little ketchup on the side. I doubt we'll need it, but put that in. Break this open right here. Look at that. Gorgeous. Got the cheese, got the onions and the peppers. That is so good. A little spinach wet. Excuse me. That is absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. Good stuff. You can try this with any meat. Get it at the grocery store, the farm, or like we do it, from the woods. Got him, John. Oh yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Look at that. Pick his head up, John. Look at him. Nice job, Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just like it is right underneath the palmer goes to the goes to the grave.
go. He says to me, I just put a little force to it and just shook it. <laughs> Here's what you I know, get. I get a little force. Like hey, it's not a takedown anymore, hand. it's a breakdown. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen like sleeves. This. They make sleeves for those. I had it. I sh let it go. I hit it. And I like, they're good. And I'm thinking, I went, bam, I hit it down on the gun. Hit the ground and John, you didn't th you didn't think you hit it good? You didn't think you hit it good? No, no, I felt I hit it good. But it was just, but it was like excitement plus frustration. Unbelievable. The bow breaks after he kills the bull. Yeah. What's my ear strong? <laughs> Perfect. Look at that. Unbelievable. I'm so happy, you guys. Put a lot into it. It was I took awesome. the, I I took the easy way out. I got I frustrated. Oh, I was oh, really yeah. frustrated. It was a lot of and I didn't even break my guns. Off. But you know what? <laughs> I, Marty, you gotta see Billy. Show him the. <laughs> 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 That's a good shot.